I'm ready to expand my dragon fruit collection with three new varieties. That is why I'm so excited about my brand new self-watering rolling dragon fruit planter from Vago Garden. It comes in two boxes because it also has a tall trellis for this beast of a plant to climb onto and hang over from the top. After unpacking all the parts, make sure that you have everything by checking against the manual. I actually was missing four bolts, but that can be easily resolved through customer service. Setup was a breeze and it comes with a detailed manual that shows you all the parts as well as assembly instructions. And if you're a visual learner, I highly recommend their YouTube channel with great setup videos. And there's a QR code on a card in the box that will take you right to it. After playing around with it for a while and sprinkling some magic pixie dust and getting it set up, I admired how sturdy this planter was and got ready to set it up. I have my super secret soil mix for dragon fruit and I will put a recipe for it at the end of this video. But make sure to lock those wheels because this thing moves super smoothly away from you. It holds about 28 gallons of soil which is really nice because these plants are going to live in the soil mix for a couple of decades and I want there to be a good quantity so those roots don't get root bound. Here is a lovely plant that I'm going to get in there and I started this one from a cutting at the beginning of this year. Just look at those gorgeous roots. You can plant up to four dragon fruit plants in this planter. I'm going to get started with two. You want to position it carefully so that the roots are barely covered and then you want to stake it up against that nice trellis with some flexible tape. There, all done. Look how nice it looks and oh my gosh, it moves so smoothly like butter. Now all I need to do is get the second one planted up. So this plant here was started from seed about two years ago. It takes forever to start dragon fruit from seed. I don't recommend it. Grow from cuttings if you can. But it's a great experiment and I do intend grafting some of these onto a bigger plant and that will make them grow really, really fast. Let's plant this up for now. It is full of prickles and I'm actually surprised it is not as root bound as I thought it would be. I think there's actually multiple plants here. Well, it turns out there were two plants. I decided to plant up the smaller one because it was just a lot just more easy to manage. And same thing, tie it up with some tape so it can start to crawl up that trellis. Give it a little bit of water and we're good to go. I'm going to let this continue to flow in here for a while because this has a self-watering feature at the bottom that is going to collect the water. So I'm going to let that go and I'm also going to add a little bit more soil. The dragon fruit plant is ready to take off. Here are the links to the video by Vago Garden Academy on how to set up the dragon fruit planter as well as to my soil mix video. And I've got an entire playlist on all my dragon fruit videos, so check them out.